Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chris, and in this video I'm going to present the first tutorial from my Wi-Fi Pineapple series. For this particular Wi-Fi Pineapple tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Karma, which is a feature that is built into your Wi-Fi Pineapple. Before I begin, I'd like to provide you with an overview of Karma by explaining what it is and how it works. Karma stands for Karma Attacks Radioed Machines Automatically. And a radioed machine in simple terms is any Wi-Fi equipped device. It can be a computer, a smartphone, a tablet, or even a gaming system such as an Xbox or a PlayStation. Anything that is Wi-Fi capable. Now here's how it works, and I've created some illustrations to help explain. Each time we connect to a wireless network, our computer remembers that network's name and its password so we can automatically reconnect to it in the future. It does this obviously so we don't have to open our network manager, find the network, and input the network's password every time we want to reconnect. So what most people don't realize is that no matter where you are, your computer is constantly searching for the networks that you've previously connected to. To search for these networks, your computer is sending out what's called a probe request. And basically a probe request is the same thing as your computer saying, hey so and so network, are you nearby? And if so, I'd like to connect. This is where we can apply karma. Karma behaves like a wireless access point and responds to these probe requests. Basically, when your computer says, hey, so-and-so network, are you nearby? Karma responds by saying, yeah, hey, I'm so-and-so network. Go ahead and connect to me. And what Karma does is it analyzes those probe requests, extracts the network's identifying information, such as the network's name and MAC address, and then uses that information to create a clone of the network. Because your computer can't differentiate between the authentic network and the clone, it automatically establishes a connection. So now that you have an understanding of Karma, I'm going to show you how to use it. First, you need to power on your Wi-Fi Pineapple. And then you're going to connect to your Pineapple. You can do this either via Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable. And once you're connected, go ahead and open up a web browser. And we need to log into our Wi-Fi Pineapple. And this could be achieved by going to 172.16.42.1. One four seven one, and the default username for your pineapple is root, and the default password is pineapples are yummy. And once you're logged in, refer to the tile labeled services in the top left corner. You'll notice a service titled MK4 Karma, and it should currently be in a disabled state. What we're going to do is we're going to start Karma, and to do that, we'll simply click start. And if you refer to the tile labeled karma slash connection status, you'll notice that karma is active. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to my victim machine. And on my victim machine, I'm going to enable my Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to move back over to the Pineapple Control Center. So Wi-Fi is going on. And if there are any nearby computers searching for a familiar network, you'll see a statement that says, probe request from and then the victim's MAC address for SSID and then the name of the network that the computer is searching for. And once Karma spoofs the network and the victim connects, you'll see a statement that says checking SSID for start of association, pass through, and then the name of the network, followed by a statement that says successful association of and then the victim's MAC address. So what this means is that the victim's computer believes it's connected to the network shown in the pass-through statement, but it is actually connected to your pineapple. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move back over to my victim machine so I can show you that I'm connected to a network titled Starbucks, although there is no Starbucks network anywhere around. And you can see there in my network manager, it says I'm connected to Starbucks Wi-Fi. And because I've tethered my Wi-Fi pineapple to my Android's 4G, I'm able to provide my clients with internet access. I'm going to move back over to the Pineapple Control Center, and you can see that the Pineapple has intercepted a number of probe requests looking for a number of different networks. So before I conclude this tutorial, I want to give you a real-life example of how Karma can be used, and I'm going to use Starbucks for this example. So here's the scenario. We arrive at Starbucks, we order a coffee, and we have a seat. After we get comfortable, we boot our Pineapple, start Karma, and then we send a deauthentication attack to the authentic Starbucks network to disconnect everybody. What's going to happen now is all of those computers that were disconnected, they're going to try to reconnect to Starbucks. But because we put the authentic Starbucks network in a suspended state with our deauthentication attack, 
And because we have Karma running, we're going to intercept all of those probe requests and all of those computers are going to connect to us. From this point forward, the possibilities are limitless. We can perform a man in the middle attack, analyze network traffic, capture usernames and passwords, spawn a reverse shell, or whatever we want to do. All of the computers are now compromised. So that's it. That's how you use Karma. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.